What's up guys, this is a do-it-yourself artificial limb setup for your hang-on tree stand. All this in less than five minutes, coming up. Welcome back to Wallow. Today I am showing you my favorite artificial limbs for concealing your tree stand. So we've got some three quarter inch dowel rods. I've got some artificial leaves here and then spray paint, hot glue, these one inch flagpole holders and uh, some zip ties. All right, so first slide up about 12 inches and then you're gonna wanna drill about eight to 10 holes all the way to the top of this dowel rod. Now, we're gonna check and make sure these holes are drilled properly. So I'm gonna take these and slide them through these, these holes we made. One eternity later. Now I'm gonna go through with some glue and zip ties and, and fluff all the leaves up the way that I want. Um, it's really personal preference. I, I could run through here again and add some more stems and make this like a, a real bushy limb with a lot of cover. I could leave it kind of like this, but let me glue it and I will show you next how I kind of fluff up the leaves and make it more realistic. Now what I'll do is I'll take some spray paint. I don't have a particular color I like to use, but I try to dumb down some of these bright colors. We've got the artificial limb spray painted, glued. After you spray paint it, you're not gonna wanna take it in the woods right away, especially if it's October, November. Keep this thing out of the, the woods for a few days, let it air out. I would leave it outside. Um, Deer don't prefer the, the smell of spray paint, guys. That's not a good thing to do in the woods. Don't take a freshly spray painted artificial limb in the woods, give it some time, spray it down, take some scent-free spray, spray it off. We have our artificial limb made, spray painted, glued, all those other steps I just showed you. Now, we have the flagpole holder. So assume that I need some extra cover off this left side. So I'm gonna set up where I shoot, I'm, I'm right-handed, so a lot of my shots are off the left side of the tree. I want some extra cover right here to the left of the stand. And a lot of the time when I do this, I'll have three or four of these, I'll have three or four of the artificial limbs, and I'll cover up the entire stand. In addition, I'll have some of that natural cover from my setup in the woods. So guys, I am currently mounting this to the tree itself. I've got some three-quarter inch screws here and I'm screwing these into the tree. All right, so that's screwed into the tree. You can kind of adjust the angle on the flagpole holder. So I like that angle. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna take the side that, see we left about 12 inches or 10 inches on the bottom half. I'm gonna take that side and I'm gonna slide it into this flagpole holder. I got the flagpole holder into the tree. I fluffed up some of these limbs. I really needed the cover off this left side here. A lot of my shots are right down to the left. So there you have it, artificial limbs. If you want, you can make three, four, or five of these things and put them all over the tree. I've been very successful with this setup right here. Actually killed the biggest buck of my life using artificial limbs. Um, so check this out. Also, if you can find some cedar or natural limbs, it's best to try to use those too. Get as much cover as you can around these hang-on stands. They also make some uh, canvas that you can try to use. I find that it works better on ladder stands and blinds and stuff like that. Hang-on stands, to me, this is the best approach, these artificial limbs. So try this out. All the links are below. If you enjoyed the video, Please subscribe, check us out next time, and uh, throw some comments below. Let us know you like the video and some other ideas, some other videos you might want to see. Thanks for watching. I'm Brody, and this is Wallow.